My name is Nora Maybe, and I cover Indigenous communities for the Lee Montana newspapers, and I've been covering Indigenous communities in Montana for four years. We first got the idea to produce this series when a 2013 report came out showing that Native Americans in Montana die 20 years sooner than non-natives. And in the 10 years that that, since that report, we wanted to see if that number had changed and also how COVID had affected that. So um, with support from a grant, we looked into why Native Americans are dying so young and found that now, 10 years since that report, Native Americans die on average 17 years sooner than non-natives. For this series, we focused on the Fort Peck Reservation because that one is in Northeast Montana and it's isolated from care. Um, and we actually found that the life expectancy gap is really wide there with Native Americans dying almost 30 years younger than non-natives. Um, and then we also went to the Crow Reservation because it's the biggest reservation in Montana. And while it's closer to Billings, which is a center for care, um, we still found that residents on the Crow Reservation face significant barriers in accessing care. Um, and then I knew we wanted to go to the Fort Belknap Reservation, somewhere we don't get to go to as often in north central Montana, because we wanted to explore solutions and what people there are doing. Um, and I knew we wanted to follow Tasha Hawley, a source who I've been in contact for a few years, to see her efforts in reducing the gap. I think the biggest challenges in this project were finding people who were willing to talk about their healthcare experiences. Health is a really sensitive topic and not just because of the personal information but also because people were losing close people that they cared about to health complications. Um, and then also in indigenous communities in general, oftentimes these communities have been ignored by media or misrepresented by media, and so trusting media with such a sensitive topic can be a challenge. Um, but I think we were able to overcome this by spending meaningful time in the communities. While this project focused on Montana and the drastic life expectancy gap here, it's something that's relevant everywhere in America. Native Americans have the lowest life expectancy rate of any racial or ethnic group in the country, and these disparities are persistent across the nation. Indian Health Service manages, is responsible for providing health care to tribes nationwide and it's been chronically underfunded, understaffed, under-resourced, so this is something that is a national issue and um, communities across the country need more people to be aware of it. The series is meant for Native Americans and for non-Natives. For Natives, I wanted to make sure people felt seen and accurately reflected by the coverage. And then for non-natives, I wanted to make sure people were opening their minds and becoming more educated on this topic. This is a situation where nothing can be more important than someone's health, and we need all hands on deck when it comes to implementing changes. And before we can implement meaningful change, people need to understand the issue. And in Montana, these are our neighbors who are dying a generation younger. and. I feel we're only as healthy as our community, so it's something that involves everyone. <laughs>